What's going on guys, it's Crypt here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys. Uh, this will be on in Photoshop and After Effects. And it will be a tutorial on uh, uh, transitions. Uh, I know the last one was on cinematic transitions. Uh, this one is a little different. This will be on like customizable transitions. You can do any kind of transition you want. Uh, you can just change it to whatever you want. Uh, so you don't have to do it exactly how I've done here. I'm just showing you guys a quick preview in the background. You see how it, it like paint brushes into the next clip. Just frame by frame. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll just get started now. Uh, so first off you need to be in Photoshop. Uh, and you need to have timelines. If you go to Windows and then Timeline and it will open up this timeline. If it doesn't have this purple bar here, it will say create timeline. Just click create timeline and this should pop up. After getting your timeline up, uh, what you need to do is make sure you have shortcuts. So if you go to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and then panel menus, and scroll down to timeline video, uh, you need to set a shortcut to next frame and previous frame. I've set mine to alt control plus full stop and then alt control and then comma and then right down to the bottom uh, at enable onion skins you want to set alt control and slash um, this is and the onion skins just allows you to see um, the layer before and the uh, layer after um, it will be I'll show you guys in a second um, but it's very helpful um, so yeah, uh, you don't have to have next frame or previous frame. You can use the uh, just your mouse, but it's probably a lot easier and quicker if you do have these shortcuts. Um, the next thing you need to do is set an action, um, a duplication action, because there is no shortcut for that. Uh, so you've actually got to create one. So what you want to do is you want to hit, uh, hit a new layer. Just name this duplicate. We'll just make the function key F10. Uh, hit record. What you want to do is you want to go to video and then new blank layer. Create a stroke, layer, video layer start. Video layers and then duplicate frame. And then you can stop this. And then on F9, I'm pretty sure I did F10. F10. So every time I press F10, you see down below the blue cursor is moving forward. This just means this. And if I turn onion skins on, if I go uh, there, uh, this is the layer after it stops. So if I go back a layer, it just shows what's before. So you just need these kind of these things. As long as you got the duplication, everything should be good. Um, when doing these effects, you can use the duplicator. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, uh, the next thing you want to do, I'll just create a new layer. Layer, video layer, blank layer. Just set this at the beginning. All right. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you can change your uh, you can change your frame rate uh, in this layer. Um, I'm just going to keep it on 20 point, 29.97. Because there won't be, I don't really want to spend a long time uh, it, for 60 FPS to make it smoother. Uh, it's quite nice actually, it gives it a nice effect when it's not so smooth. Um, but yeah, um, first thing you want to do is uh, you have to do it white to black uh, because when we go over to After Effects later on, it, that's how it registers. Uh, it just registers the first clip as white and then the next clip as black. Um, so first thing you want to do is you just want to, you know, just create a random brush, brush stroke. So I'm just going to do this. Just this random brush stroke. And then I'm going to click F10 and this will uh, duplicate it. And I'll just go forward a frame. You know, just do any, any, you can do any kind of pattern. You can do anything you want with this. And then I'll do the next frame. Um, so yeah, uh, you can just be creative with this. You can do just anything. I, if you saw, I did a paint stroke. Uh, this wasn't a transition, but in the team charge, 
I did a paint stroke going around a car and um, that I used that for I used Photoshop for that so I just copied the video clip I stuck it in Photoshop and I just did this just next frame and then paint it does take me a fair amount of time it's not the quickest process to do but at the end it does look very nice so I'll just finish this off now and then this next frame you just wanna just make it all black I'm just doing this very rough and quickly so now I'll just go one more frame so if I press F10 and then I can cut this frame down by dragging the end just moving it closer a lot of people didn't know you could actually video edit in Photoshop um, but yeah I'll turn onion skins off and I'll show you this so if I scrub through this that's how it looks and then if you slow this down in After Effects uh, like that so the next thing I want to do is just zoom out quickly drag this right here this timeline all the way to the end otherwise when we render the video out it will render out just lots of blank blank pieces which aren't needed so now that we've done that now that you've created whatever design you want uh, whatever transition you want you want to go to file and then export and then render video now when this opens up you have to have I believe CC 2015 and above Photoshop because I don't think CC 2014 has uh, a video render or I don't think it has this timeline I'm not sure um, I can't I can't really say uh, but the first thing you want to do is you want to create a folder um, let me just find where I want to save this uh, Photoshop transitions so I just create a folder here just called transition okay you have to save it in a folder if you save it on a desktop lots of images will pop up uh, so it doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, you want to make sure it's a PNG file. Um, you want to make the work area uh, so it's zero to five frames, and you want to make this alpha channel to straight unmatted. Uh, once that's all done, once the frame rate is the same as the frame rate in the timeline, uh, you can just click render, and it will render out this footage. Okay, and then once that's rendered, you want to go to After Effects. I'll just create a new comp now. Uh, 1920. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I'll just drag these clips in. Turn the sound off. Okay, then you want to uh, right click in the uh, project, import, and then file. You want to find where your where you save the screenshots so transition and it should say PNG sequence you want to make sure that's tick and then click import and then once that's in you can just drag that above the two layers what you need you have to have you have to have um, uh, it above both of the layers and I'm actually just gonna stretch this because I did rush it a little time stretch do this by uh, I haven't set anything so all you're gonna see is just a black and white over the top which isn't actually what you want so you want to make sure that the layer overlaps the other layer like so just like this and you want to change the second layer so in track mat if you don't see track mat and you see this just click this toggle down below and it'll switch to this and in track mat you want to click on the layer above the, fir the first layer and you want to change it to luma inverted matte that will change the white onto the first clip and the black onto the second clip you c if you have it the other way around in photoshop if you made the uh, the beginning black and then you've done a white color over the top you can just change it to luma matte this is just luma matte inverted it doesn't really matter um, and yeah, so there, there it is. Um, I'll just round preview this quickly so you guys can see. It'll be a very quick transition. Um, so yeah, you can just change, you can customize whatever, however you want. And 
yeah, as you can see, it, it works perfect. It looks nice. You could probably, um, you know, add some effects on this. Um, and just mess around. It's it's all up to you when editing. You just gotta be creative. Come up with any like ideas. If you like the video, press the like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some Rocket League videos with Jezza, Stuxy, uh, some other Nixus uh, players. Um, if you don't know, I've created a team. Uh, links will be down in the description as always. Follow me on Twitter to keep updated. I'll post updates on uh, what I'll be creating. Someone's just added me to the friends list. Thank you for that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye.